Vancouver is having a look at their noise bylaws next week. After anti-LGBTQ plus street preachers continue using microphones to amplify hate speech, the proposed changes suggest that authorities could take away someone's speakers. Some critics are concerned that this could affect all protests in the future. What if they apply it to what if the noise bylaw now covers First Nations drumming? Matthew Cadges has been an activist and medic for a variety of causes, from Occupy Wall Street to the Burnaby Mountain protests in 2015. What if it covers, what if it, what if they apply it to an anti-pipeline protest where one of the organizers has a megaphone? You know, like where's the line? You know, and how are they going to word this bylaw to make sure it specifically only targets hate speech? Vancouver City staff are now proposing a $250 fine for use of an amplification device on a street, and the proposed changes suggest that police and bylaw officers could take someone's amplification device. In an excerpt from a letter to Vancouver Council, Harsha Walia with the BC Civil Liberties Association says the bylaw amendments propose a complete ban on voice and noise amplification devices in public space without permission and and on the ill-defined grounds of noise being objectionable or where it disturbs public comfort or convenience. What it really comes down to is an obnoxious and egregious violation of the quiet enjoyment for others and it happened to be very hateful speech. Councillor Pete Fry explains the idea stems from incidents last summer when a street preacher was charged with assault after an altercation sent one man to hospital with a broken leg. And at the heart of it, the bylaw changes are less about controlling hate speech or silencing protests and more about simply preserving the peace. It's, it's a valid concern that it may be, in fact be used for protest. Uh, that's certainly not the intent and I think those will probably be some of the questions that come up from Council when we have this conversation with, with staff. But again, it's really focusing on like adding a new tool because we just don't have a tool to shut something like this down right now. Pete's a good, good counselor and a good meaning person and I could see how that would be his perspective, but the proof is in the pudding. What checks and balances is council going to put on this bylaw to make sure that police can't abuse it and can't use it against a First Nations drumming circle or an environmental protest? Council will review the noise bylaw changes on Wednesday. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.